I'm a portrait photographer working on projects uh, that shape opinions about women. You can find my work on um, Sunday, like you can find my work on Sunday Times um, covers, Harper's Bazaar. My recent project that we did with Independent, we photographed 10 women from 50 of the most influential list. And uh, you can see that work in Outernet. It's one of the biggest places in London at this moment. And that project was to, to raise awareness and to raise money for refuge charity. So it was an incredible project to be part of. Right, that's uh, incredible. And of course, thank you so much for being one of my 45 Strong. And let's dive straight in. But what, what does being strong mean to you, Sane? There are so many definitions that I can answer, like what it means uh, to me to be strong. But a couple main things, it's not to be afraid to be different, not to be afraid to have an accent, not to be afraid to look a bit maybe slightly different, but also a couple things that definitely mean strong to me. It's emotional resilience. I think it's extremely important. Self-confidence, independence. Another one, I think, moral courage. It's when you can stand against injustice. It's really important. And uh, things like empathy and compassion, obviously, flexibility and be able to adapt. So there are so many different things that can represent what means strong, but I think they're equally important. And maybe we can bring it to life. And could you share an experience where you had to be strong and how did you handle it? Um, I guess uh, the main experience I can share is to work for yourself. You have to be strong every single day. Because when you work for yourself, you encounter so many doubts, so many ups and downs, like constantly ups and downs. And uh, one day, one door opens, next day, the door closes. And then you have to wake up in the morning and you have to believe in yourself and still go for something that you think will bring you success in life. So, so yeah, so I guess to work for myself, it's the most... Uh, it's, I, I guess it's the best experience from personal level. I agree. And I, I say it's like living because there are highs and there are lows and there is crazy and then there's calm. But I don't want to flatline. I want the ups and downs because that's a heartbeat. Exactly. But also, you know, obviously you have to be strong when you work with different people because in my field, I I encounter different types of people. I, I work with such a variety of uh, women from very well-known people to to like very high profile and uh, again you need a lot of strength to jungle in between you like it's not necessary sometimes you deal directly with people that you are photographing sometimes you deal with a lot of publicists and PR people so uh, and sometimes things don't go the way you want them to go so you have to have a lot of strength in um navigating uh, those situations as well and I'm curious as well about how you think societal expectations around women affect the concept of strength unfortunately we still have uh, a lot of that a couple of things to talk about I guess um, pressure to fulfill multiple roles again when I photograph women we talk a lot about how they see themselves and how the world sees them and in many cases you know I just, I think women, such a strong person, she has to look uh, like, she has to look after domestic lives like children, but still she has to make a career. Obviously she doesn't have to, but if there is a choice and um, to think that society still thinks that if you cannot do those things, you're not strong enough. It's nonsense. Another thing, for example, like uh, I think when you think about strength, Sometimes we mix that with um, um, masculinity as well, because when you talk about strength, you think like physical strength as well. Again, this is just so old fashioned way of thinking what strength means and um, being vulnerable. Again, if woman is vulnerable, people think it's weak. I think this is uh, human's um, strength. So all those things, I, I guess, 
still affect the way we think as women. Right. And you know why this project was born, because I've been struggling with that word strength and the separation of weak vulnerability uh, all my life. Uh, so I really am very grateful for you sharing your thoughts. And but, have you, well, sorry. Sorry, but just, just to add one more thing. But I think even we still live for a lot in that era where we have a lot of stigmas about this trend in like in, in women but a good thing is that we see that there is slight change like a shift in society as well so even we do have many negative things but at the same time we still have you know a lot of um uh, movements for gender equality which which makes a massive difference for us hopefully society will have more how to say I lost on that. I lost my mind. <laughs> well, have more compassion, maybe. In... Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and maybe we can bring it to life. And could you share an experience where you had to be strong and how did you handle it? Um, I guess uh, the main experience I can share is to work for yourself. You have to be strong every single day. Because when you work for yourself, you encounter so many doubts, so many ups and downs, like constantly ups and downs. And uh, one day, one door opens, next day, the door closes. And then you have to wake up in the morning and you have to believe in yourself and still go for something that you think will bring you success in life. So, so yeah, so I guess to work for myself, it's the most... Uh, it's, I, I guess it's the best experience from personal level. I agree. And I, I say it's like living because there are highs and there are lows and there is crazy and then there's calm. But I don't want to flatline. I want the ups and downs because that's a heartbeat. Exactly. But also, you know, obviously you have to be strong when you work with different people because in my field, I I encounter different types of people. I, I work with such a variety of for women from very well-known people to to like very high profile and uh, again you need a lot of strength to jungle in between you like it's not necessary sometimes you deal directly with people that you are photographing sometimes you deal with a lot of publicists and PR people so uh, and sometimes things don't go the way you want them to go so you have to have a lot of strength in um navigating uh, those situations as well yeah but what what does being strong mean to you saying there are so many definitions that i can answer like what it means uh, to me to be strong but a couple main things it's not to be afraid to be different not to be afraid to have an accent not to be afraid to look a bit maybe slightly different but also a couple things that definitely means strong to me it's emotional resilience I think it's extremely important self-confidence independence another one I think moral courage it's when you can stand against injustice it's really important and uh, things like empathy and compassion obviously flexibility and be able to adapt so there are so many different things that can represent what means strong, but I think they're equally important. Have you come across any common misconceptions about strength uh, in your in your workplace and in your life? I think that question is quite um, difficult to answer because I personally, personally, I didn't really come across to that many because I feel like I think about myself as a strong woman like a woman that has opinion that can that can say something back you know if I don't like something I can raise my voice sometimes the only thing that really annoys me when uh, when I on locations I do something and if I need to live something I get really annoyed when men come to me and you know kind of say oh I will lift that for you it's that physical ability that somebody thinks that I'm not capable of some to lift something that makes me really angry and I have to remind them well to say more not remind uh, I'm an ex-bodybuilder so I I can lift my you know I can lift those things myself it's okay I can lift that stand but um, on a more serious note 
I I've noticed I, I've noticed um, one thing when I photograph women, especially high profile women, appearance makes a big difference. What I mean by that, a lot of the women ask me not to show them too beautiful, and uh, just because that we don't want to be seen as. Um, uh, we always think about how board members will look at them if they will look too beautiful. And it's quite an astonishing thing that we still as women have to think what others will think about us just because that, you know, I will put a lipstick, a red lipstick, or, you know, if I will have a tight top. Or So my hope that one day at some point society will change and, and will not think about appearance at all. But that's a very interesting thing. That is really curious. And I'm, I was surprised you said that we want to dumb down our beauty. We want to fit in. Don't stand too tall. Don't shine too bright for fear of judgment. Because I thought it would be the other way around. So that is very interesting. And of, like, of course, don't get me wrong. Like, uh, there is always like women, you know, I mean, we should, we should show our strength, like whatever that means to us. But unfortunately, it's not it's not like one woman sees that it's quite 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 a lot so there's like a pattern in that mm, yeah well thank you for sharing that and you know every woman out there who's listening and man and non-binary and every individual be proud to shine to the level you are so that's what I'm taking just from that first section alone and how has your understanding of strength influenced your approach to say goal setting and success I have one mantra for that I always think and I always say to myself who I am today it's not who I will be in 10 years time I have to remind that to myself all the time because if there is something I don't know about I know that in 10 years time I will have that skill or I will have that knowledge and I will be different so I always think that uh, everything changes and I change as well and I will change and it's part of uh, acceptance but also it's part of uh, fighting with the doubts that you have today. So succinct, absolutely glorious. <laughs> and it's curious because we're told to look backwards and be proud of who we are rather than look forwards and be grateful for the, 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 the foundations we're putting in today. So I really love that shift. But Kate, I guess, you know, for you, for you, it's exactly the same. You know, you've done so many incredible world breaking records and uh, then I guess when you started, you didn't you didn't think, or maybe well, um, maybe you believed in that. Obviously, if you wouldn't believe, you wouldn't do it. But when you started something like that, you didn't um, think that in ten in whatever years you will be that world, um, you know, champion, world breaking champion. And it's always that interesting. Like who are you to who you are today? It's not who you will be tomorrow. Yeah, I agree. And I never, I would never ever think that you know, breaking that world record of becoming that champion in triathlon would lead to you and I having this conversation today because this is the pinnacle and the next pinnacle and the next pinnacle. So it's grown to be collaborative. So yeah, I yeah, 100% see that. And we can't like, see the future. Yeah, it's like what your mind can do. It's incredible. Like you just need to put your, to set a goal and somehow you will find a way to succeed. Mm. Hmm. Well, maybe that's the answer to this question, which is like, what one tip or technique have you developed for nurturing strength? Again, there are, I know you only need one tip, but I think there is no one tip, one easy way to that answer. I think it really depends on so many circumstances in, in position that you are. But to me personally, it's very important to motivate myself. But sometimes how to find that motivation. And this is the, the, the big challenge. But again, to me personally, finding the right book that can shift your mindset, finding the right role model that can change your mindset, taking some small challenges or big challenges and believing that you can, you can do them. And by doing them, you can prove yourself that you are much stronger than you think you are. But uh, if I could give one tip, to me personally, it's connect, connect, connect. Like what I mean by that, it's networking. I always feel like if I go out there and I connect to people and I do a lot of networking, I feel like I always find a way 
to change my mindset. It's just because that I can learn something from people. I can, uh, I can get maybe some new ideas and, um, and I can compare maybe myself to somebody. Yeah. So to me, connect and, and motivate and yeah, I, I agree. If I may share as well, because last year, as you know, I cycled three and a half thousand miles around Britain and I started in London and my first day off was Edinburgh. So that's 12 days of cycling for 400 miles. And I was so tired when I got there and I, I was, you know, I just went out, had a meal and I was going to go to sleep because I thought what my body needed was nourishment and sleep. But I, I, I met another traveler and her and I went out dancing till three in the morning which is not what my legs wanted, but my soul needed the connection. And I felt so much more nourished, even though I had no sleep than I ever would have if I had gone to bed for 10 hours and rested. So I, I wholly feel what you're saying that I needed connection to keep me going. I didn't need more sleep. Yeah, but uh, I, I totally agree, especially like, you know, after challenges like yours, you kind of, you want that a bit of community or something next to you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I think it's very, yeah, very much so. I never thought of it that way. So again, this is why I love these conversations because my blind spot is being expanded into being my known zone. Um, and I'd love to finish. Oh, go on, sorry, go on. Sorry. Can I just add one more thing? Again, I'm not sure if it's for the record or off the record. I mean, I don't really mind, but, uh, you know, when you send me those questions, I really thought about them. And uh, because like you always want to to go much deeper, not just to say something for the sake of saying, but because I went to Iraq and I just came back from it and I worked on a project with women deminers who cleared the land after ISIS, what they left. You know, and when you think about your strength and their strength, Obviously, you start questioning, am I strong enough? Because, you know, what those women went through, it was insane. It just, it was insane. And nobody talks about them. Nobody thinks about them. Nobody knows that they even exist. Or most people don't really know until you read an article. So it was just interesting uh, to put in perspective, like, what strong means to different people. Because, you know, strength can, can mean clearing the lands for other people in Iraq or any other country and or you know strength means that you can bring some bread for your kids so that strength it just that word strong can mean so many things but that trip made me really think about what strong means mm. it, it, I just felt like sharing this please yeah and that's why I reached out because again, your your photographs capture something deeper than the surface. And so I think it is really important that we give this platform the space for voices that can't join us for whatever reason to be heard. And that will be your Iraqi D miners, uh, the women there doing the work tirelessly and risking their lives for their, their community. Yeah, just it's it's interesting to take that into perspective as well mm. so. well thank you for sharing that honestly and yeah please share any links as well because I'm sure your photographs will be emotive and bringing up yet more questions as well as answers around what what they what the women are doing so please please let me know how I can support as well moving through thank um, you and yeah finally to to circle back to the start what does being strong mean to you? To be vulnerable and embrace that. That's how I think strength empowers us. It's been an absolute delight to connect with you, Sane. Thank you so, so much for making the time. I know you've just got off a plane from Iraq. Um, and yeah, it's it's shifted my thought process on my own introspective life, but also the greater global female community that we're within as well. So thank you for your effort and energy and who you are in the world as well. <laughs>